Hello and welcome to another episode of yet another Minecraft series. In the background you can see the House of Science, uh, Haus der Wissenschaft in German as it's called. And, well, it's a monster. It's a real monster and, uh, well, I'll tell you why, but maybe we change our view first. It's a real monster because it's made of clay brick. And uh, if you play Minecraft you know clay brick is well, not hard to get, but... Well, it's time-consuming. You have to collect a lot of clay and uh, one stack of clay, which consists of 64 pieces, um, will well give you 16 blocks of, of clay brick. And as you can see, that's well maybe the bottom layer of this building. Yeah, a lot of work, but fortunately we have a little friend on the server, um, thanks to Ant Bagarion, who collected some bricks for us and also some potions so um, well, well clay is mostly found underwater and it'll help us to get it <coughs> thanks again and what I've done off camera is well collecting a lot of brick myself and I also went to the nether because um, oh where is it oh my where's my quartz oh didn't I bring, oh, I didn't bring it here um, well I'll fetch it later what we'll do today is we will finish the ground floor, I think. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's not totally new, this building. I've done some stuff, putting a ceiling here. Uh, yeah, but we'll finish this and um, well, what you can see and will see in the near future is uh, this, uh, well, a stair oh, up to this level and well in the real world this is an elevator but um, yeah I don't know if I'll fill it with a ladder or um, water to simulate an, an elevator we'll see that later first of all um, yeah I laid out this design and you can just copy it so oh damn it um, what is this House of Science? It's a part of a uh, German un university in Braunschweig. And uh, what was built in, in oh, I don't know exactly, I think it was from 90, 1935 to 1937, kindish. Um, yeah, well, and then it served as a well, college kind of for teachers, well, for teacher education. So teachers learned how to teach actually uh, crazy stuff and it was um, not destroyed in war and was afterwards again used for teacher education so that, that's mainly uh, what its purpose was um, well I have to add this this building well, actually is only part of a larger compound so this is just the front building in, in real life there's a uh, building over there and we have a tube over there tube well, no, it's not a tube uh, tubish kind of a building which goes over there and the same over here um he'll be yeah a tubish kind of building again and over the oh skelly over there where you can see the water would be a uh, kind of museum maybe may, uh, maybe over here I don't know if I'll build that as well. Um, we'll see in that. Okay, we can close this wall, of course. Yeah, back again here. So that's what this building uh, is all about. It's about teacher education, part of university. That's where I work. I mentioned that in the last episode, I think, and. Um, I'm not really into teacher education, but uh, ah, well, well uh, I, I think I have to explain that a little bit, um, as it may vary in different countries. In German universities, when you start a PhD, you always have to teach. So uh, you don't only do your research, and write your paper, and are um, involved in different projects but you also have to teach it's, it's 
Yeah, not always mandatory, but it's it's basically mandatory to do it. And um, well, I'll grab some, some quartz now. And continue to, uh, telling you what your germ system is like. So, um, PhD students have to teach, but of course most of them don't uh, want to teach or are not prepared to teach at least. Um, yeah, unfortunately most only want to get their PhD and then leave university to get a better job somewhere else. Um, that's the way it is. And I work in a project to, to help them uh, or those PhD students who want to teach or want to improve their teaching. Well, I help them do that. Oh, lots of quartz will take. Uh, let's grab all of it. Yeah, and that's what I do. So we, we have lots of programs, of workshops and whatnot, seminars, you could call them, where they learn to plan teaching and some methods they could use and about e-learning and, well, about um, how to ask uh, students stuff so they may, might actually get an answer back. That kind of stuff. That's what I do, and um, yeah, as I said, it's, it's well, it's frustrating at times. Um, yeah, because as I said, um, there really are. Uh, oh no, we need stairs. Um, yeah, teaching for most of them of, of the PhD students is not fun stuff. They don't really like it. They have to do it. It's well, if it, something is compulsory, it, it's not much fun, that has nothing to do with teaching. Um, yeah, and that's, well, I, I, I want to, well, how do I explain that? Um, I'd like to make a difference, maybe I could say. So, um, I'd, I'd like to change the minds of people. Uh, I, I, sounds like brainwashing. It's not what I want to do. But um, I think teaching is a noble profession and I, I think it can be fun and well, it's kind of frustrating if, if not many see it that way. Well, that's university as it is. Um, yeah. So that's one reason and um, uh, so maybe some other reasons I shouldn't talk about and I won't do now, maybe later. But first of all, let's see how we'll do the stairs. I think I might run into a little problem. Oops, come back. Because in real life, there's there are stairs going up here and then back to the, the other side. And then you arrive in the next floor and it doesn't work here. I could use half slabs. I think that would would look bad. Um, okay, we would try with the stairs. These are not stairs. Come back. Um, yeah, that's better. Okay, we can do it here. Boop, boop, boop. Let's do it this way. Get rid of this one. Go up here and. Go up here and fits. Oh, it fits perfectly. I could do it with full block. Oh, lost. And down here, actually, there are stairs downwards, but I've never been down there, and I think there's some kind of basement. Um, I'll bit that later. I'll uh, first of all, I'll check out how it looks in real life. But I think we can put. Blocks, you know, nah, nah, we'll use slabs. Let's, oh, ouch. Let's make some, some slabs first. Over there. Um, yeah, you might wonder why why I use uh, wood. It's um, jungle wood, actually. Um, when when designing that building, I had to choose between what should I would I would what I want. Do I want a nice looking building, which is not too strange with, well, well mixing 
brick and, and these wooden stairs is kind of strange. Or, um, yeah, yeah, my my favorite was to build a building that is uh, that I could actually use as a real person. So I could have made it bigger, but it would have been, been strange walking around in it because which would be too huge. Uh, yeah. So, well, that's why it may look a little strange. Oh, no. Oh, we can eat one later. Um, yeah, and in real life, maybe I should uh, use an overlay here showing you a picture of, of a real building. Um, uh, uh, yeah, it has some, some details. It has these little gaps. They're in real life, they're smaller and uh, not of wood, of course, but but made of um, this brick as well. It's really it's really red brick. But if I, I I tried using only brick and brick stairs, and it really looked well, uh, really strange. Uh, I tried to find something that is similar to the color of the brick. I tried Kaja wood because it's red, but really really looked. <laughs> and that didn't really go. So I chose jungle wood. Yeah, that's how I came up with this design. And I think it's not too bad because today. Oh, hello, neighbor. Um, my brother brother visited me, and I showed him this building, and he said, "Oh, well, I know it! I know it! I know it! It's university, isn't it?" And yeah, he he uh, recognized the building, so it can't can't be too bad. So let's use these, and we can get. Oh, uh, why does it do that? Over here, over here, and over here, and we can put one here. Let's see who's visiting us. I don't want to. Oh, you come up! I don't have to get down. Yeah, ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, we can put one more here. Eventually I'll put the door here. Now let's get up and let's add a row of brick here. Oh, out again, you see how quick they vanish. So, uh, I, I said this building is used for teacher education. That was not 100% correct because, as I said, there's a building over there. That's where most of the teacher education um, happens. In this building, we have part of uh, university administration, which is, I think, on this floor yeah i think there are offices right over here we'll build them later and let's see first floor second floor third on the third floor and, and the fourth floor there's um an assembly hall in german it's aula i think in, in english it's assembly hall and well we, we can can uh, gather large crowds and uh, some Fancy, uh, I don't know the word. Ah, so some assemblies as well. And on the fifth floor, we have some seminar buildings. Uh, seminar buildings, seminar rooms, and you can rent. And finally, on that floor, there's a the restaurant, which is um, you know, kind of expensive, but kind of nice. It's an Italian restaurant. And what we'll finally build eventually built over here is um, oh, what, where a dome made of glass and you can actually see over the city and I will show you at the end of this episode I think that we also have a good view from the top of that building here. So let's see what we've done. Um, I think yeah, and that's okay. Um, to show you how it will look 
Uh, I should add some. Well, first of all, uh, let's get the floor going. Maybe I'll change it with slabs later, but for now, so I just to be able to get to the stairs, I'll do it that way. Okay. Yeah, can go down there and put slab there, and you can see how the stairs will develop. Uh, well, you can actually you use some. That's great. So um, same over here. I, I I don't think I'll complete it totally now because it's basically the same. Die. Oh, come on. Yeah. Um, yes. Same design, just a mirrored. As you can see, it's symmetrical. But. Ah, oh, come on, we'll do it. We have some time. It, not too much work. It's quite fast, but we have to be careful because on that side, a door here, we can get outside into a yard. Here, here, and here, and here. Let's put the stairs. That's the elevator. I mean, yeah, I just got an idea because I see my bucket over here. Let's just do this temporary, temporarily, and also on the other side. And, uh, well, I'll till, until I decide how to, to do that stuff and how to make the real elevator, we can use this to help down from from um, higher ground, from higher levels. Um, did I forget something? Oh no, that, that one's. We don't need that one. Uh, but we need. Can put slab here and there. And we need walls again. Oh, and I think we have to put in windows here. Yeah, it's not... Well, oh, yeah, wait, right. We need windows, and we need them. Okay, and that's the door. One and two. Now we can do it. Um, yeah. If you wonder why does it, what is he doing? Does 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 he know what he's doing? Um, mostly, I I don't use the creative mode to pre-design my buildings or my builds in general. It's just trial and error. Maybe I <laughs> maybe I should uh, I should pre-design some stuff, but yeah. Well, what I, as I said in the first episode, I'm, I'm not that a great builder, and for what I do, I think eh, it's, it's sufficient. Okay, nearly done. Let's get some glass, and we can test that. Whoops, nothing happens. Great. Oh, and just got another idea. Ideas come easy now. Despite it's, it's nearly one o'clock in the morning, um, and I can tell you why I, I do it that way. I do not live next to a main road, but it can be quite... No, I don't want to do that. It can be quite loud, and uh, some people try to, to play Michael Schumacher and race down the street, and it can be uh, quite loud. Uh, we have sticks here. It uh, can be quite loud, and I, uh, as you notice, my microphone's not that good. We might need. Uh, we might need. And we'll give it six, and we'll be okay. Oop. Uh, yeah, and that's why I recorded one o'clock in the morning because, uh, well, in <laughs> the the number of, of cars is. 
reduce significantly because most people sleep at that time of day or night. Okay, how did I do that? Uh, stair over here. I forgot the glass, damn it. Um, let's turn that way. And stair over here. And stair over here. Nothing to put here. Uh, can do it now. Put in the glass later. Okay. So, uh, what else could I tell you about me, maybe? Um, as you said... Oh yeah, maybe. That's interesting to know. Um, I teach PhD students to teach. But actually, I'm... Um, yeah, well, what I studied is business information systems. So, it has nothing to do... Well, on first view, has nothing to do with... Oh, wait. Is that wrong? On the, no, on the other side's okay. Um, it it uh, has nothing to do with with teaching and, and stuff, but if you think of e-learning, which... which uh, uh, let's not go into detail, but um, it can be dependent on information systems, and it's a mix of... Oh, rain. Great. Um, it's a mix of managing processes and people and IT systems and that's what people who study business information systems do. Oh wait, what did I do here? I'm totally confused right now. That way? No. That wait a second. Why does it come over here? It doesn't belong here. Um, put it in when I built the ceiling. Yeah, that's a, that's right now. Yeah, so you can uh, even if you study business information systems, you can work as someone educating others in teaching. And oh, I've not thought about that. Put in ceiling in here. Uh, my head further education is not that I didn't learn anything about that and um, had lots of further education actually. And I, I was a PhD student. Oh man, what am I doing here? It doesn't belong here. Um, yeah, I got training myself and well, let well, I, I, I think I have. To learn how to speak and to build. That's quite difficult actually. So let's build first. That's okay. Uh, right to the elevator. That ceiling. That ceiling. It's not. Yeah. So actually. I did that, I was a PhD student. Before that I was a business consultant, so as you can see, quite diverse what I've done, so if you find my description, that was a proverb I was trying to find in the last episode. Um, I'm a jack of all trades, a master of none, and we can open that one because there's, there will be a hallway as well, we can finish that later. I wanted to finish the ground level, I did that, and maybe, no, we, we do, we, we'll do one more thing, we will close this one, because I don't want any unfriendly neighbors visiting us, we'll close that one, and we'll close that one over here, and we'll, and we'll put in door later and I wanted to use these signs to make it a little uh, more realistic maybe because you can simulate some, some wooden boards over here with some nails, see? Maybe one here and another one here
Yeah, let's, let's put one more here. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe on the outside as well, but I will do that later, I think. Uh, the ground floor is done, except for the interior, which we'll do later. And yeah, that's... <laughs> maybe I'll put a sign up here. We have our temporary elevators and we're the first stair to the first floor and well I think now let's go down you I think you can hear me <laughs> first of all most of all it's better in here um, yeah I thank you for watching this episode as I said last time if you liked it leave a like and if you didn't like it leave a dislike and please use the comments to tell me what you think about it I my first, my, my first steps in Minecraft video. Um, if you leave a note and, and tell me what I should improve about my English or my building style or my, should, well, should I talk about my personal life or shouldn't I do it? Should I just talk about building stuff and Minecraft and things like that? Please let me know. Um, I'll try to, to think about what what you tell me and I think what I can do in the future. And well. Let's call it a day and till the next episode. Bye!